So I'm from Sardinia, from Oristano, and we have a long history, like carnival with horses. And I used to do that when I was a kid. Um, the time I did, the last time I did it, I fell off, and I and a champion joke in Italy just texted and said like how brave I was to be back on the horse. Um, so I just started looking into it, and there was after a few months a big race meet in Sardinia, and it was taking part of it. So I just went to the races with my family and. You know, just look at the races and I was quite into it um, so my parents just like decided that you know I can do other job because before of that they didn't really want me to leave home so the BSC is a kind of job but after that it, it was really serious on it and we tried to find a you know a professional racing school uh, we find here as so I came here, it was April 2015 for the open day, for the speak award. <laughs> Probably understand about three words about they saying all day. Um, yeah, and after that, I just did the prex, I mean, a month later. Mm -hmm. And they, and they take me and they said I could start in December as there was another Italian doing the course with me so we could have a bit of company. Uh, so I came back in December for three months. Yeah, it was I was 16 and I was about to turn 17. But obviously here it was you know it was my war, you know horses and races. Uh, it was really nice. Probably was hard because of the language, but I learned quite a lot. And you know everyone was really friendly and it was really good time and we learned a lot. Yeah, I went to Luca Kumani. They came here like three weeks before we was finishing the course and they saw us riding. And I said, like, I'd like to come work for you. And so I did three and a half years. <laughs> I went wide on the racetrack and obviously he got a bit upset because of that and he said to make me understand quite quick he went in the in the yard of his office and he made me run on the outside and he ran in the inside <laughs> and, it's, and after we done he said oh, see I'm 60 year old and I still beat you <laughs> but I probably could have beaten him anyway <laughs> but you didn't tell him that <laughs> Well, definitely the first thing they did it was they accept me here even if they couldn't speak a very good English and they gave me a place to stay and and you know a school to learn and you know really grateful for that I we learned quite a lot about like race ride not race riding sorry just riding racehorses and how the you know how to work for them you know, to brush, how to mark out, and you know, in racing, yeah, just knowing pony club, you know. Um, yeah, and after that, they gave me a job, <laughs> and they gave me a chance to get my license and to learn more English. Um, we did lots of stores work after we get the license here with Michael Lewis and Rich Pym. So they did a lot for me, because without them, I'd probably be, uh, be in, uh, in all these still making pizza with that. <laughs> It was really hard, like I was kind of giving up and I said to him I was going back home because I didn't feel like I was any good anymore because everyone was keep telling me like I wasn't good and I couldn't do that you know, and stuff like this. Um, but I didn't know how to tell Luca so I just sent him an email saying I was going back to Italy and my stuff was in the, in the tack room uh, so he rang me and he said come in the office and I had all you know all my bags ready and the taxi coming to go to the airport but i just get the taxi and i went back to the yard and we spoke and you know he filled me up again and after a month i went and i get my license 
Um, yeah, and I went and I rode on to this big black horse. Second time I was quite keen with me. Um, it was 100 to 1. It, it looked like reality. I had a good chance to win, and as soon I let him off the bridle, I had no clue. Of, like, it was completely different to push from the morning work than to the race on a different saddle and everything. And, um, I think mean, I got really tired by pushing to the line, even if I wasn't in the camera. And when I jump off, you know, my legs was a bit chilly. Uh, yeah, and after that, a month later, I had my second ride and I finished second and it was, you know, the boss was really happy with that and he gave me another two rides the week later and then start, you know, getting a few rides. Yeah, I wasn't doing that well last year until December and I had a few winners, in two or three wins in December and then in January I got, uh, I think, 14 winners and I only had, I think, 25 rides, so it was a good strike rate and from that on I just took off. Um, yeah, it was going really well and obviously I got 20 days, 21 days ban, um, but I came back stronger and you know, um, he helped me to win the championship. And uh, you know, it's a great feeling and obviously the end is the 16th of October. So if I beat you, I'm gonna pay a big crown that day, but at the moment I'm just one of the others. And I'm just trying to do my best and try to win it. I guess in the winter I'm gonna stay here in England. Um, as the big jockey, gonna go abroad and hopefully I can get some rides, you know, for big trainer on nice horses and you know create new contacts and hopefully keep them when the good one come back.